El Paso County officials continue waiting to learn if they will get reimbursed for serious flood damage this summer. They applied to FEMA last month and this week contacted another federal agency that provides damage relief. KRDO News Channel 13's Scott Harrison explains. I'm standing in the middle of some of the $20 million in flood damage that was done during all those rainstorms back in June. Because of insurance, the county is seeking only $8 million in federal emergency disaster assistance. But the county doesn't know how much money it will get or when it will get here. So there's a backup plan in place. Two months after widespread flood damage from storms, some of it has yet to be repaired. Erosion here from Sand Creek threatens a popular paved trail in Wildflower Park in southeast Colorado Springs. Oh, it's terrible. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, we come here a lot, um, and, and uh, you know, to see it like this, it's like kind of dangerous too. Much of the flood damage happened to bridges and other infrastructure, like here in Colorado Springs in Douglas Creek, under a bridge on Holland Park Boulevard. Floodwaters undermined bridge supports and caused erosion damage. This week, the county's emergency management and recovery director got approval from the Board of Commissioners to send this letter to the National Resources Conservation Service. It's a federal agency that provides disaster funding, and the county hopes to qualify for some of it. The damages to the city were mostly to stormwater infrastructure, and the, the damages to the county were to public works infrastructure and then also parks uh, infrastructure. The county's emergency management director says that even after funding arrives, it could take up to 10 years to repair all of the damage because that work will include permanent repairs to replace temporary fixes. One advantage to some of this flooding is that it has created some other areas that allow people to get closer to the water for enjoyment. El Paso County hopes to hear back from FEMA within a few weeks and hopes to hear back from the other federal agency soon. The county also says that other disasters, such as Hurricane Hillary just last weekend, and now that we're heading into the peak of the hurricane season on the Gulf Coast, could move El Paso County up or down on the priority list. We'll let you know how that develops. In El Paso County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.